is Gail Bird from Gail Bird Designs, and I'm doing a bit of a vlog today. I hope that's all right with you, because two, a couple weeks ago, I thought I'd better look for a part-time job for just a little while. It's January, and as expected, my self-employed income it is minimal. Um, it's January. Nobody's buying jewelry. Uh, it took me about 15 minutes to discover that a friend was looking for a goldsmith in her jewelry repair center. I messaged her and she told me to come in that day and I started the next morning. I'm ridiculously happy with this job. I'm not a goldsmith, uh, I mean not yet anyway, but I've done silversmithing and I'm a super fast learner. I am utterly blown away that I've found a job making and repairing jewelry in my tiny community. It's a job. I have a jeweler's bench and everything. The first project they gave me was using the hand files and the flex shaft to clean up a ring that had just come out of the wax casting process. The, uh, the on-site goldsmith had carved and molded this beautiful custom ring and she needed me to get it near to its finished state. I was kind of hesitant to work with gold, but she promised that gold is easier than silver, and also I couldn't ruin this huge chunk of ring, and it turns out that she was right. Uh, it took me forever because I wanted to get the feel of gold, and I didn't want to get the flex shaft to get away from me, so I was using hand files for a lot of it. But I got the hang of it eventually, and I managed to clean it to the fine file stage. Uh, the next steps are using sandpaper, then polishing with Tripoli and Rouge, but because there's enameling to happen first. I don't have finished shots for you. I just wanted you to see what I've been working on. Uh, another custom job that they put on my bench was for a necklace made from the customer's scrap gold. It had been melted and poured into a, a little ingot, maybe two inches, when I arrived, and I was given the job of using the rolling mill to turn it into wire and then create some circles from it as a focal point. Here I'm annealing the half-finished wire with the oxypropane torch at my bench. <laughs> I'm really excited I have a torch. Um, <laughs> my butane torch at home feels like a sledgehammer compared to this beautiful, t tiny, fine little flame that I get to use. Uh, anyway, annealing is the process of heating up metal until the molecular, st molecular structure does something scientific and then the metal is easier to work with. You're, I mean, you're softening the wire with heat. You can see that as the metal gets close to the right temperature, I start chasing this halo of color changes along the length. And that's sort of how you know that it's working. I'll run it through the flames a few more times and then quench it in clean water. rolling mill was impossible to film while I was using it, but you use the wheels at the top to adjust the uh, the height of the rollers, the space between them, and then there's this giant handle that you use to turn the rollers. They pull and stretch out the metal, um, shaping it, and you can either flatten it or turn it into wire. Uh, it kept going crooked on me, but eventually it magically came out perfectly straight, which was pretty cool. Uh, and so after a bunch of incorrect math, I managed to get uh, get it all sorted out and I cut out three lengths of wire and got it soldered into the three circles. I'm really excited to go back to work tomorrow and get these cleaned up. And then as if the job itself wasn't cool enough, I mean, amazing, I was welcomed with open arms into the team with an official announcement. And then they moved around the whole shop and they put my work in one of the main showcases and I'm humbled and excited and grateful all at once. Um, my life is, I'm, I can't even believe this is my life. Uh, so that's what's been happening with me. I've got a ton of stuff on the go in many places and I'll be back to share with something with you really, really soon. Thanks for watching and as always, Stay creative.